Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about the line and load on a GFCI receptacle. So as you can see right here, I have a GFCI receptacle and we are going to take a look at the back. Now if you take a look at the back, there is, uh, and I hope that the camera can actually catch this, it says line right here and it is pointing to the screws on either side of the word. So these two screws here are for the line and I'll explain what that means in just a moment and if you look down here it says load and it's pointing to these two screws so these two screws are for the load now the line is for the incoming power supply so if you are you know wiring one of these up and you are getting power from your electrical panel you would connect those those electrical wires to the line side now the load is for power that is going out after the GFCI receptacle. So if you had a few other outlets or a few other receptacles that were connected um, after the GFCI, you know, with regards to the circuit after the GFCI, then you would connect um, you would connect the next set to the load. You would connect the next set of electrical wires to the load. So the line is for the power that is coming in and the load is for the power that is going out. And that is the easiest way to explain it. Now the coolest thing about this is that if you are connecting other outlets after the GFCI receptacle on the load side of it, then those additional outlets will be protected in the same way that the GFCI is protected. So that is the cool thing about it and that is a really cool feature um, of GFCI receptacles. And that's basically it. That is the line and the load of a GFCI and how they work. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.